A sigh of relief across the state of Montana. Two victims of March's shooting in western Montana are now home. MTN's Lauren Heiser takes a look back at their long journey. Missoula police received reports of gunfire and three victims shot near Stone Creek Lodge at Expressway in Missoula shortly before 11 p.m. on March 14th. Julie Blanchard had gone to pick up her son Casey Blanchard and his friend Shelly Hayes at a local bar. Court documents say the suspect followed them, flashing his lights. When they pulled over to see if something was wrong, he opened fire. Shelly Hayes was dead when officers arrived on scene. Hayes was a father, and according to those who knew him best, his entire world revolved around his little girl. Early in the morning on March 15th, while pursuing the suspect, Trooper Wade Palmer reported to dispatch that he was under fire. He was ambushed and shot in his patrol car. The next officer to arrive on scene found Palmer still seatbelted in his vehicle. The suspect was caught by law enforcement after a seven-hour manhunt along U.S. Highway 93 North. Both Trooper Palmer and Casey Blanchard were badly injured. Palmer had been shot in the face, head, and neck. Blanchard was shot in the left arm, right side of his chest, spine, abdomen, and both legs. Both were transferred to a hospital in Utah. The incident stunned all of Montana and was discussed throughout the nation. But now, Trooper Palmer and Casey Blanchard are finally home. The community of Stevensville, where both Blanchard and Palmer reside, made sure to show their support and give these two men a hero's welcome home. One of the nicest guys, the most genuine people you can ask for. They're just good individuals that have done their job their entire lives. Attorney General Tim Fox spoke at a press conference when Palmer returned home. I want to recognize the Fraternal Order of Police, uh, Utah chapter, who took care of the family's needs and the highway, Montana Highway Patrol's needs, and indeed the needs of even some of the shooting victims who were ultimately transferred to the same hospital that Wade was in, Casey Blanchard and his wife Leah in particular. Um, all of these organizations and individuals, including the Utah Highway Patrol, uh, really went above and beyond the call to really take care of one of their own. These men are now sleeping in their own beds in their hometown. But some of the most difficult challenges may be still yet to come. Number one, that we all respect the privacy of Wade and his family, uh, but that we continue to, to act in ways of love and support, uh, not only for uh, Wade and Lindsay and their family, but for all of the victims and their families of that shooting that tragic night. Uh, all of these individuals are worthy of our love and support. That's what Montana does best. In Missoula, Lauren Heiser, MTN News. And if you want to know more on how to help, information can be found on our website at ktvq.com.